I'm Jess Latasha, and this is Piece of Script. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the Jess Latasha channel where I dissect, review, and love up on some black TV and film, and sometimes with a little bit of accent and white because they do be doing what they gotta do. But welcome back. Please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Start this video with a thumbs up, and of course, leave a comment. Get in some support here. Let YouTube know you love it. If you're not following me on social media, please go ahead and do that now. I am Jess Latasha on Instagram, Jess Latasha 404 on Twitter. And if you guys want extra content, I do go live twice a month over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Jess Latasha, except this Saturday where I will be dissecting the second episode of the final season of Pose. See you there. Um... Can we talk about Tales from the Hood? Yeah. This is a 1995 classic horror film depicting four stories of horror and revenge. But today, I wanted to focus on the opening sequence. We watch a group of three black men meet a mortician as the four stories weave together. Now, just for transparency and to keep up with the conversation of what black trauma stories are, I don't believe that this is a black trauma story because one, in 1995, we weren't being beat over the head with the same type of black movies. And two, Tales from the Hood is a poetic dance between truth and fiction to reveal a very poignant message about blackness in America. The very, fine line of blackness dancing delicately between life and death. As this film opens, the very first image we see is of a skeleton posed in an alive form. And something really strange, his cigarette still lit and smoking. This dead thing doing an alive thing while pointing an object directly at us that invites us to be exactly like him. And when we finally meet our friends, one of them looks exactly like it. Now, if we're talking about the hood, if we're talking about impoverished black communities, we are talking about that delicate dance between life and death. The constant war between good and evil, light and dark, and many people of those communities find themselves engaging crime, dancing with death, because the world is rejecting their access to life. And in a never ending cycle of surviving, barely making it out alive day after day, one might welcome drugs, sex, alcohol, gang activity, the recreational way of feeling alive when death is threatening me right around the corner, barely crossing that line. So when we see these three friends hunting for drugs in a place of death, all of this seems fitting. That mortician with a lit cigar, just like that dead thing, but where's the gun? I think of our special friend's bandana, an item of black culture, especially in the 90s, worn by black men. But in certain shots right above that bandana, He's adorned in lights, almost like this illuminated crown. So just to bring it all back, a dead thing wore what an alive man wore, transformed into a crown, much like a man whose death was a symbol of payment for our life. This is the war. Black death treated as a debt, as a ritual, and possibly even a sacrifice for the life of America. That delicate dance over a fine line, the war between a devil and a king. 
I am your host, Just Latasha, and I want to thank you for being here for yet another episode of Piece of Script. I will have this series every Thursday right here on this channel, and every Monday at 6 p.m. EST, I do go live for a dissection show of one of our favorite films or TV episodes. Please go ahead and subscribe to this channel, give me a thumbs up, and turn on your notification bell so you guys are aware of when I make new videos, and of course, drop a loving comment below because I love to love on y'all who love to love on me. Okay, follow me also on social media. I am Just Latasha on Instagram, Just Latasha 404 on Twitter. If you want some more extra content, find me over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Just Latasha. Now I'm going to go ahead, rewatch this horror film because it is so good and it has a powerful message and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Until next time, see you on the internet. Bye.